Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going over the Ethereum chart today from popular requests. We're going to be going over the target that we had to the upside and the reaction off of that target, the level of support that we are seeing over the past 12 hours and how I'm expecting this to progress over the next few days to a week. Uh, so I hope that you really enjoy this video. I hope that you are doing very well and what can we say? CC pool playground right now. Let's go into the analysis. So first of all, I think it's been very, very, very clear now that we are definitely bullish on Ethereum looking for higher. Obviously, the last update that we were giving here to the public was around the 22nd of April. So last month, uh, while we were still just trading at two thousand five hundred dollars. A few weeks later, we got the crazy pump that we were expecting. And well, here we sit up at around $4,000. So massive increases in price. And congratulations to everybody that made use of that paper call. So what, what's next then for Ethereum? Okay, so when we zoom out a bit, let's zoom out to the daily time frame. Okay, so on the daily time frame here, of course, this is extremely, extremely bullish. It's, it's very hard to deny that Ethereum is one of the most bullish assets right now in cryptocurrency. Every day, just seeing continuous gains. So this this obviously is brilliant, absolutely brilliant for the people that have got into this relatively early. OK, it's obviously pretty simple to trade in that regard. So, OK, so we've got two types of people right now that this video is for the, the people that have, um, you know, listened to how bullish Ethereum was likely to be and, you know, are in from lower prices. And then you've got the people that are on the sidelines. Maybe they sold their Ethereum too early whatever reason they're not in ethereum anymore and they'd like to get into it so i'd like to help both of those two types of people in this video first of all the people you know that are in from lower much like myself and then in that regards i don't think you need to be over managing really your swing trades what we can say right now is there's no real weakness really on the ethereum chart yes we had a 12 percent decrease in price yesterday which was an amazing trade but nevertheless when we really zoom out here and still look at the chart there's there's no need to really feel ultra bearish or close out of longs or any of this stuff i think if you are approaching this from a swing traders perspective using my all-time high strategy then you will know that there is no need to close out those longs yet we can see a very nice daily uptrend weekly uptrend monthly uptrends in all-time highs and the ethereum btc pair obviously we're looking at eth usd here the ethereum btc pair also looking very bullish so i do not believe for a swing traders perspective if you're in from lower there's no real need to manage your trades right now i think you can happily remain in your longs uh, obviously on your demo paper accounts uh, you can happily remain in those long positions because there is really no sign of weakness right now okay so in that regards Everything is good. So then it comes to the type of trader that would like to get into the market that is no, you know, that is not participating right now. They're waiting for a drop. They're waiting for, you know, some something to occur to get into the market. Well, when we add on our levels here. We can we can really see that there was a screaming opportunity last night. And that obviously occurred, first of all, just on a really simple swing failure pattern. So you had a swing failure pattern. Obviously, what we could say is it's relatively hard to get into that at the time, unless you're at your computer, unless you're actually there as it's happening. You know, it's acceptable to miss that type, type of trade. But the, the type of trade that you cannot be missing is when you come down and you retest the CC after such a massive recovery. Obviously, we all know how uh, Bitcoin is also influenced to Ethereum USD. So when when Bitcoin is obviously retracing down to its uh, lower support, we just really briefly look at that. As you all know, we've been trading this range on Bitcoin, one of the best ranges we've ever seen. But as we all know that this come down to, you know, to retest as well, the CC last night, like times two. So bearing in mind what Bitcoin was doing, you have to use that context to acknowledge it's very likely then that Ethereum is going to you know, rebounce off that CC. So, you know, coming together, Let's be totally honest, there has been, I want to say, two opportunities to long. The first being the swing failure pattern, which I acknowledge is not for everybody. It's quite a difficult trade. But really, the, the CC retest, when you take into context what the ETH BTC pair was doing and what Bitcoin was doing, I, mean, I don't really think there's, there's an excuse not to have taken that trade. Unless, of course, you didn't really know what the CC was. But, you know, here we can see another really nice bounce off of this level. So that leaves you with the perspective now of, 
Okay, Daniel, I've, I, I missed the swing 30 pattern. I missed the CC. What do I do next? Well, obviously, you're going to have to think to yourself, do you want to now buy after another 5% increase in bounce from the CC coming back in? Once again, as we can see here, support, support, flips into resistance, decrease back into the level again. The more times we test it, of course, the weaker it gets. But nevertheless, I wouldn't buy there. To be totally honest with you, I would not buy there. I would have bought the CC last night, but I would not buy here, Okay. So I think you've got to think to yourself, okay, where, where's where's next? Where's there is this next trade again? Well, if you think about it, you still have this layer of support which is clearly coming in uh, intraday around three thousand eight hundred ish. You no, know? so we can see that this has clearly been a pretty influential level when we had on our green. We can see we bounced off it once, bounced off it twice, bounced off it three times. So you could say to yourself, okay, you know, we could still have a potential range here that if you fall down to this level again, you got another long opportunity. You know. Um, so that would be my first area of interest. Um, if if lost though, then you know I'm going to be looking down to back back down to awards three thousand three hundred dollars, which I do think is a a Unix really like screaming opportunity. We kind of do these like golden ticket opportunity trades, which is just like a screamingly good opportunity. Is quite a bit down from here, but nevertheless a good area to be aware of. Um, just like yesterday, yeah. I made the video yesterday telling you to be aware of Litecoin. And it's like, you do not want to buy the top of those moves. We were trading at $400 Litecoin. Yesterday. I was like, wait, wait for the retracement. You know, you might think it's never going to come, but it will come. You know, 12 hours later, Litecoin actually retraced to, what was it, like $330 for an incredible bounce. But nevertheless, like you've got to wait for the retracements. Just like Ethereum yesterday, if you were buying at $4,200, I can only say I really do feel sorry for you because you were literally buying into our sell orders, um, which is quite funny. But yeah, no, that's just an incredibly bad place to buy. Um, so you've got to wait for those retracements, such as the you know swing fire pattern hard. But let's be honest, that CC retracement next one was pretty easy. Uh, now you're seeing another increase in price. So, you know, we have that 3,800 intraday support for our intraday range. We lose this, we got our next big opportunity that back down at around $3,240, $3,300. Look at it as a bit of a zone. Current resistance obviously being 4200 This is a level that we have been calling now for, you know, about one week and a half. So, you know, make note of when we call a level because that was uh, called back 35%. So we saw the target $4,200 and we saw a 30, you know, for about 30% increase in price to hit 4,200, the chart champions target. And well, the reaction off of it was a 12% decrease in price. I will answer this because I already know it's coming after this. This is from the uh, champions and contenders stream that I done. So this was a members only stream, but it was quite funny because um, the question was why 4,200 resistance? My answer was, the best way to predict future levels is to create reactions at that level yourself. CC Pool 2021. <laughs> but that truly is. A lot of people very confused. Why was I calling 4,200? And I, I couldn't remember this, whether it was just in a champion stream, because I definitely called it in the champion stream. I, I was like saying, in, this is obviously in the Discord. If you're not in the free Discord group, make sure you join our Discord group like right now, because the information is obviously brilliant. But this was over in just the free area. I was like, I couldn't remember. Did I, did I call 4,200 ETH publicly or was it just in the champions video? And actually it was called publicly as well. It was actually during the 11 hour Twitch live stream that I done. That, that was, that was an F, that, 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 that was <laughs> 11 hour Twitch live stream that we done. I did call Ethereum 4,200 in that one. And I think I made a few public videos about it because this guy also replies, I did name it in a YouTube video. But as Ormo says here, he made a clear statement in the champions group for the 4,200 target 100%. You know, so I've definitely done it in the champions group. And of course, pretty sure I also named it in the, uh, well, named it in that 11 hour Twitch live stream. So, you know, you've got a little bonus bonuses in that for sticking around for so long with me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, it's kind of history right now. But we hit into 4,200 myself yesterday. You have to look at the timestamps on this 20 past 20 past six, obviously still at 35 minutes past, we were still hovering around the level. But as you can see here on our demo accounts, of course, demo paper trading accounts, we were we recognized that resistance was there, $4,200. Anybody short interfering with me? And the here we go, CC pool, start to go into the shorts. If you are shorting it, yes, of course. Saw a 7 million sell order at 4,200. Wonder who that was. Of course, we will never know, will we? But 
This is obviously from the Champions Group yesterday as it was happening live in the action. No hesitation taking the shorts from 4,200. And obviously that was the reaction that we had off of it. What can we say? Um, CC pool. <laughs> quite simply but really really simply put still um yeah that was a brilliant short position i don't think anyone can deny that we hit our target from 35 percent to the down you know way in advance we had 4200 target no slowdown on ethereum until we hit the magic cc pool level and we actually saw a nearly 13 percent decrease in price brilliant actually you can take longs from this this so you have to recognize if you're shorting in an uptrend it does have to be a quick trade you don't really want to hold this for a swing trade per se and obviously swing failure pattern back into the CC, another reaction to the upside. Now we have a local range where we still have our main resistance, 4,200. Uh, we know our intraday support there is around 3,800. If we lose this, I'm looking down to around 3,300. If we break 4,200, well, this again is just all-time high strategy. Um, you know, the, the way that I'm basing my trades is obviously looking at ETH BTC. So we kind of are looking at ETH BTC here and recognizing okay we were looking you know that weekly is still about 16 percent of the upside so again this isn't a one-to-one -one exact but we can kind of use this to think to ourselves okay if we're going to be pushing so i guess our next target really would be pushing to around um, four thousand six hundred dollars but that that four thousand six hundred dollars upset here is definitely 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 viewed as a region 4,200 was like our, our CC pool level, whereas this, four, you know, 4,600, it's a bit, you know, I wouldn't be so interested in shorting it, to be honest, not even for a scalp trade. Uh, definitely would require more information as it's coming in. It's very difficult right now to say the level above 4,200. It's an all-time high again, and we don't really have any of the confluence that we did at 4,200. So, you know, it's a little bit harder to say the resistance. The supports are very easily defined. The resistance above 4,200, of course, is a little bit harder because there is no resistance. That is an all-time high on the Ethereum chart. So naturally, you know, it's a little bit harder to call a, the next resistance level um, if, if, we, if we break the current resistance because there is no real confluence like we had. Even though that was, let's just remind ourselves, that was an in, oh, come on, that was such an incredible call because we were calling it way down here. We saw a 35% increase in price to the magic $4,200 a 13% decrease in price within a few hours. It was it really was absolutely insane. And again, if you wanted that, that call that was obviously given in the champions section live as it was happening. And of course, mentioning it in a few different streams in the past, specifically in the champion stream, as well as in a you know a few public videos and the Twitch live stream. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. But um, I just want to emphasize one more time that Ethereum, in a local range we know our levels to the downside should this range break to the downside and if we break to the upside of this range i would be caught i would personally be cautious on short in ethereum again let's you obviously get another swing fire pattern of the highs um is there anything else that i really need to tell you in this video yes there is one more thing that i would like to tell you as i was mentioning we had some exciting question for you at the end of the video if you stay tuned and you have stayed you have stayed tuned and that is as you all know, like I'm not really the altcoin guy. I, I like to trade altcoins now because they're very volatile, but you know, I wouldn't class myself as the altcoin guy. And what I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen, is Magic Mike himself, the altcoin king. This guy has done, uh, you know, was buying G, what is it called? Like the graph, GRX or something like this. He, he was buying it at 30 cents and he done like 2000% gains on this. He's been doing chart of the weeks and he's like, he's won like, I think it's like eight out of 10 so far chart of the weeks with like crazy 100, 200 thousand of percents of gains. Like this guy is calling the altcoin market very, 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 very well. So what I'm going to say is if you want to see a video from Mike for the public, which is quite rare, he's not really done much public videos. He's mainly just in the group. But if you want to see a public video from Mike for an altcoin, smash up the like buttons to show us you want that. And if we get some likes, then hey, Mike will feel... Mike will feel happy and he will bring you a public um, YouTube video for the altcoins, which I think would be a really, really, really nice thing for him to do. So we'll have to see whether you want it. If you want that, smash the likes. Uh, I've caught you through my Ethereum trade, which was specifically that short. Obviously, I still am, of course, I'm still holding my swing long, so I have no reason to close my swing long. But for the intraday trades, come on, that was absolutely next level. But what can we say? CC pool gives a level and it gets respected. And when I give that level, you better listen closely because it does get very well respected. 4,200, 
called on Ethereum, we hit the level 30% decrease in price. What's going to happen next? We're going to form a range. If we break the high, we're going all-time high strategy. If we break the lower range, we're looking down towards our next lower target. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end with the legal disclaimer. Of course, all this video was not financial advice. It was just talking about paper trades, demo accounts. Uh, no, uh, you know, it's all obviously uh, education and entertainment video only. So it's pretty incredible, isn't it, that we are able to call these levels so precisely while not actually using any real money on the account. That's pretty incredible. And it shows you the power, I suppose, of technical analysis. With that said, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful, brilliant day. Enjoy trading in Ethereum because it really is a joy. And have a brilliant day. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And once again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, that trade really did go exactly as predicted. Thank you.